Yo. <laughs> From the moment I have gotten out of the car. Can y'all hear that? There's, it's like, as soon as I stepped out the car, all these birds flew to this one tree and they just going up there. They, they having a pep rally. <laughs> they must be having a Taylor Swift concert <laughs> up in that tree. <laughs> is Taylor here? <laughs> what is going on? But there's a fence. I would say maybe there's someone, something, some what's over there. But that seems like private property with a fence around it. But the graves are like all over here. So I'm going to get the shifting. But when I come here, I always get the vibe that I see someone watching me from over here with this headstone, this, these two headstone. But I've never came over here before. Oh, wow. Like this. I've never walked on this side of this resting community. So I hope y'all don't mind exploring with your boy a little bit today before we clock in. And I need a haircut. I'm out here looking rough. I'm out here looking rough. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little insecure <laughs> about filming this way because when I go back and edit the videos, sometimes I catch boogers in my nose <laughs> and y'all don't be telling me. Okay, so, okay. I've never really been over here so i never knew what this statue was i didn't know if it was someone's specific grave or what it says whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again but whosoever drinketh of water that i shall give him shall never thirst but the water that i shall give him shall be in him a well of water spring up in two Oh, so that's Jesus. Man, somebody need to come clean this. That's kind of dope, though. Ooh. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful shot, right? I might make this the uh, thumbnail. <laughs> oh, man. You know what's interesting about this, this cemetery? This resting community? Like, they're digging... look y'all forgive me for being nosy but i know y'all want to look too right is this a, is this this might be someone who's newly entered yeah let's see blessings to everyone that's resting here my name is dalen i come in love peace and respect Oh uh, yeah, this is someone who's newly entered. Blessings to the <laughs> Blessings to the people that are resting here. Blessings, 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 blessings. I hope you're resting well. I hope you are resting well. Love, love, love. Look. Down there is a is a hole that they're digging. Gotta go look in that. And then over here. We've seen these containers before at other resting communities. But I don't think anyone has ever given me just a Well, no, I think people did give me a solid answer, <laughs> but I feel like I got a few answers. I just got to figure out which one was correct. 
I think someone was saying these are the containers that they maybe put caskets in and that's what seals. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Or tell me what you know. 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 Let's go. Go. Shout out to E40 <laughs> in the Bay Area. <laughs> Y'all still hear those birds? Okay. So, how does this work? What would y'all do if somebody flung that thing open and hopped out? <laughs> it ain't know what y'all would do. It's what, it was what would Dalen do? Y'all remember them WWJD bracelets? I'm going to make WWDD bracelets. What would Dalen do? Pass out. Pass out. Oh, wow. So I don't understand what is the purpose of, like I know it's not a casket in there right now, right? Ooh, y'all. I don't know why I got the chills, but the chills is what I have. What's wild is, the next day or so, somebody's going to be. <sighs> That's going to be their final resting place. That's how deep it is. That's where your fleshy fleshy e eternal thereafter lays that's wild that's wild uh. I don't know it's kind of interesting when you think about it I don't know It's hard to describe how I feel. I guess it's just the knowing. Dang. Ooh, I'm nervous. Blessings, blessings. And look and look who look who this person is resting next to. Good old Walter. Walter, if you anything like our Walter, I know this person is, is in good companionship. Or will be in good companionship. That's interesting. What y'all think? I want to go down there. It seems to be just a fresh hole. Let's walk down this path. Dang. Woo, that gave me the, that gave me some chills. Just seeing that stage of it. That's like the, you know what that feels like? It felt like, you know, when you watch movies like The Green Mile or movies where a prisoner has to take that final walk, has to take that final walk to like the electric chair. It felt like seeing like the electric chair. <laughs> That's what that felt like walking up to the electric chair, because once you see that hole and the inside of that hole like that's it that's it that's it so i was watching well that's bad that we've we've 
<laughs> turn social media into I was watching. I was scrolling through Instagram and this post came about of this company where they are trying to make um, they're proposing to make assisted unalivement. If you know where I'm going with this, you can't say certain words on YouTube, assisted unalivement machines. So for people who are like terminally ill, people that are, you know, just just on that last, you know, bit of life and they're, you know, pain and suffering and it's just assisting that process for them. They're trying to create this machine that you lay in it and it's like a pod and you press this button and you peacefully transition over, but on your own accord. So that's what they're developing. But they say that once you're inside this pod, they ask you three questions. And I was like, dang, like, what three questions do you have to prompt and read and verify before you essentially end it all? Like to make the conscientious decision to end it all. What three questions could this company be asking you right before you make that final decision? But the three questions was like, who are you? Do you know where you are? And do you know what happens when you press this button? I was like, nah, man. I feel like if you're going to, if someone is about to trans self-transition, I feel like you need to ask three thought-provoking questions. You know what I'm saying? Three thought-provoking. Like, they need to be questions where it makes you think about the decision you are about to make and you have to confirm it. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think those three that they ask are, are uh, uh, these two? Two newly entered people. Blessings, 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 blessings. I don't know. I feel like it needs to be. Do you feel like you fulfilled your purpose? Maybe one. Maybe like. Are there people that love and would miss you? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just think like the three questions would, would need to be just something that makes you just really think before you make that final decision. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comment section, y'all. But here's... This is what... Oh, wow. That ain't no casket, is it? That ain't a casket. That's the little box over there. It ain't nobody in there, right? It can't be. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't think no, I don't think a casket's in there. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't see why it would just be a casket in there and it ain't closed up all the way. Maybe this is them getting ready for the casket to be put in there. So this like the sizing of, of, of it. And they gonna pull that out. But how do you oh yeah, maybe they pull that out when it's time to put the casket into there into the hole but dang that's six feet y'all that's the reality reality of being buried that's the reality of being buried Mm, mm, mm. 
I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It's kind of tight. It's kind of tight in there. I ain't never really thought about what the inside of the, what it looked like on the inside. We always above ground. That's wild. Am I am I the only one feeling this way? Is that not messing with y'all's like? I know some of y'all are just like cold hearted. Y'all like no, that's how it's supposed to look. True. True. But just that visual of this, which looks like a, 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 a casket inside of there. And the thing about people that used to be buried alive back in the day, you this deep under. Wow. All right, y'all. Let me go find a space to spirit box. Resting to everybody, resting blessings to everyone resting over here. Blessings, 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 blessings. So, in this resting community, that's where we were way over there with the open, open grave. But over here, that's the perpetual care portion of this resting community, where that means someone's always taking care of it. They manicure the lawns, make sure, you know, all everything is just looking uniform and neat. Then you have the mausoleums over here. You know what I mean? These are kind of like the mausoleums or crypts, whatever they're called. We call these the condos, the condominiums. <laughs> these are like the ones where Jesus and uh, Hakeem rest at in the other cemetery that we go to. But then here you have the non perpetual care area. That means that the resting community is not responsible for taking care of the area in which these people are resting. Which, I mean, I get it, but that sucks. Like you can see the drastic change in geography. <laughs> clear, 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 clear. Ah, jungle, <laughs> jungle. You know what I mean? But we're gonna walk up here. Oh. Okay. Okay. 1885 to 1917. J. Arthur White. Oh, he has that handshake symbol on his. Remember, we found out the other day that I believe that's for the Odd Fellows. I wonder if Mr. White was an Odd Fellow. going on everybody resting here and this is joseph e medley 1885 to 1938 he has the same handshake on his okay okay well it's not too bad just a lot of leaves for it to be the non-perpetual care. Ah, but once you get up there, once you get up there, I don't even think we can get up there. It gets kind of dicey. You see those heads on? Let me see. Yo, this has been an interesting shift. <laughs> we ain't even got to the to the shifting. 
I hope y'all are still here and still clocked in. I wonder, can I, how can I get up there? The easiest way. Let me tell you what I love about this time of year. No mosquitoes. Oh, wow. This headstone fell over. Mm. Clearly people come up here. There's trash up here. Reared family, Lily Bell. That's my great grandmama's name, Lily Bell Brown. Charles, hope y'all are resting well. So, this is like the real non perpetual care. There's stones falling over. Pitts family. Hope everybody's resting well. Oh wow, that's like it's sunk in. It says Mother Maddie. Yeah. They were four years old, four years, nine months, and two days. What does that say? Dang, it's like the ground sunk in. Underneath that baby. I see that indentation right there? That big rock in there, it's like that rock sunk in. Then you had, ow! Oh, I just got stuck or grabbed by all them thorns. But then you have Catherine Pitts. She died nine months and five days. So these are the two Pitts children. Wow. Yo, I think I'm gonna set up camp. Set up camp. I'm gonna set up shifting camp around here and do a session. Love, love, love. What is going on, Graveyard Shift family? your fearless shift leader Dalen clocked in in the non-perpetual care of this resting community y'all if you look into the distance of this video you can see headstones covered in um, vines and leaves and trees all throughout the background so anything that's poking up <laughs> it's probably a headstone that you see back there so I feel like this would be an interesting area to get a shift going. I feel like we've sat here and watched <laughs> the production line of transitioning today, like seeing the space dug up, empty, one with the essentially casket, but you know, the, the tomb covering in there to the lawns that are all manicured once they've been resting for a while to the overgrown nature that's inevitable. <laughs> that's inevitable. I mean, when you think about it, 100 years from now, 200 years from now, 
this cemetery that we were just at is probably going to be all overgrown nature who knows it could be condominiums like who knows what this land is going to turn into 300 years from now but you got to realize these people were born in 1884 this was probably all open fresh you know what i'm saying they probably thought this land was going to be all taken care of for the next couple hundred years 1884 so that was 139 years ago. 139 years ago. This is what has happened in 139 years. Because this person, no, not even 139. They were born 139 years ago. This person was born in 1884. They passed away in 1911. So, 113 years ago. So, essentially, 100 years. Is, this is what happens in 100 years. Huh. Yeah. To all the spirits resting here, my name is Daylin. I come in peace, love, and respect. I'm with a group of people called the Graveyard Shift. And what we do is we come to resting communities like this and we try to speak to those who may not have been spoken to in a long time. Please feel free to speak to us through this box. It will not hurt or harm you. It just allows me to hear you. And if I do miss anything that you do say, I'm going to always go back and listen later. So your words will not fall short on these ears. Love, love, love. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? Uh oh, my bad, y'all. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? No, not. Who do we have? I'm Daylin. Say so we know. So have people heard about what I do on the other side? No. He said no. Who do you think you are, boy? Okay. Have y'all seen me in this area before? Rosemary. There's Rosemary. Hey, Rosemary, how you been, girl? So sweet. So sweet. Well, welcome back, Rosemary. Hey, Adrian. He said, We're here. Thank y'all, man. Is Mary Ellen here too? That's it, very funny. Well, that feels good to know that y'all are still here. Play. This is always, y'all, it's just always very, very sketchy over here. It's always sketchy over here. Like, I gotta always be looking out for my car. I can see it way, 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 way off in the distance. But somebody was like, because I told y'all the story how I was walking down this street back here and there was a person walking and I was like, it shouldn't have been anybody walking because it's not a walkie downy street. It was like, how dare you say where that person should be? You were there too. So obviously there is a reason for people to be there. Uh, no, because I shouldn't have had my ass on that street either. <laughs> Me and him was both wrong. <laughs> but no, yo, it's sketchy AF <laughs> over here. But y'all, Rosemary, Adrian, thanks for being back with the family. What's up? 
I would love to speak to someone that's resting here. Sarah? She thinks She thinks that what? Is there someone by the name of Tara here? Correct. Tara, where are you resting? Special. So you're special? I believe you. Are you somewhere in this wooded area? Okay, were you buried here or are you just here? Your sticks out? Can you make a noise in the area that you are? Can you make a loud noise in the area in which you're standing? Y'all be sure to look and watch my back now. Tara, are you still here? Now I know I saw somebody walk past me just now. Bill? Did someone just walk past me? And behind me? So you looked at? Can you tell me the name of the person that just walked behind me? Something. Mike. Is there someone by the name of Mike buried back there? If I'm Oh wow, we heard Bill, right? Bill came out, right? So there's a William right here. Bill. Yeah, there's Bill. Well, Bill, how you doing, buddy? Bill, you only said your name one time. You got in and got on out. So, Bill, how do you like resting in this wooded area? What do you think? said it's nice. What, what's so nice about it? Do you like the view from up here? Bill, do you love nature? Should I be worried about this truck pulling up? 
<laughs> you said they're, they're, they're help. Yeah, yeah, those are the those are the lawn people. They help keep the area clean and straight. Do you wish that they could come up here and clean this area? All the time. What's up, Walter? Now I'm kind of worried because almost all the whole gang is here. Like, all the Avengers are here? Family. That's good. Making sure y'all ain't here because I need like some, some, some backup today or something. Looking around. Move That's interesting. Let me show y'all <laughs> Bill who came through. I didn't even realize. Ouch. Right here. <laughs> Is William A. What does that say? Oh, pull some of these vines out the way, Will. I ain't got. I don't have my gloves today. William. Let's just say H E E. That a K. William was born in 1870 and passed away in 1905. Well, Bill, we appreciate you coming, speaking to us today, brother, and coming through. Mary Ellen, Adrian, Walter, we appreciate y'all coming, checking on the kid, and letting me know that we still family. Yeah, we finna get up out of here. We gonna come back and visit for sure. I just thought it was interesting that <laughs> Bill came through and he was resting literally two. S I want to see this headstone over here, y'all. I keep looking at it. And then we're going to get up out of here, but. It says. I want to see what this. Oh wow. Oh wow. I didn't even see all of the resting those resting back here. Wow. But I did see this. It's like a Bible open up. But I was trying to Blessings to all those resting. It says mother, Mrs. C.M. Johnson. Oh wow, this headstone is falling over. Mother, Mrs. C.M. Johnson, born November 1st, 1834, died May 7th, 1929. Mother Johnson, blessings to you. Look at this tree. Wow. All right, Graveyard Shift family. Thank you for coming on this journey with me today. Oh, y'all, before I leave, me and the infamous Dave Schrader. <laughs> y'all know Big Dave. Dave reached out to me. And he was like, Daylon, I have an event going on in minnesota in april and i would love for you to be a part of it let's do some shifting let's do some investigating and let's invite the people out so i can't think of the name of the location off the top of my head but i'm gonna put it in the description and i'm gonna put the link to dave's website but we're gonna go to minnesota in april and i think it's like a hotel we're staying there we're investigating two nights 
and we're doing graveyard shifts. We're going to take, you know, the people that are coming to the graveyards and we're going to do a shift together with Dave Schrader, myself. And I think he has maybe a psychic, but it's like a weekend of events. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm interested. And if it goes well, me and Dave might take this show on the road. <laughs> so if you're in Minnesota in April, if you're close to Minnesota, please check out me and Dave Schrader for uh, two days of just paranormal fun. But until then, check out my Bites videos and check out my Ghost of the Roasted. We dropping videos every week. Your boy's back, baby. Love, love, love. See you on the internet. And hopefully in person in Minnesota in April. <laughs> love, love, love.